Hi friends. Well, we are still on butterfly watch. Nothing has come out of the chrysalids yet. I check every day, but while we're waiting for them to, um, to metamorphosize and turn from larva into butterflies, I thought maybe we would do a little diagram today of all the body parts on a butterfly. So we are ready when they do come out. We're going to start by drawing the body of the butterfly first. So, he has his thorax, right here. His thorax, remember on the larva, he had this, his thorax too. So I'm gonna draw a label that says thorax. You'll also remember that the larva had an abdomen. The butterflies do as well. So let's draw his abdomen. And we're going to label the word abdomen. If you remember what the larva used to breathe, touch your nose. I remember they had these little circles on the side of their body. It helps bring in oxygen to their body and that's how they breathe. Remember the big word for that? It was the word Spiracles. And I'll draw a line that points to one of those spiracles. The butterflies have them too. So even though they have changed into a new creature, parts of their body are still the same. Isn't that amazing? Now, let's draw the next important feature. Remember how the larva had their true legs and their other type of legs, their pro legs that help them grip onto things. Well, now that the larva is a butterfly, it actually just has six legs, making the butterfly an insect. So let's draw his legs now. Count them as I go. Did you count? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now one fascinating thing about butterflies that maybe it's gonna be hard for you to believe is that on the ends of their legs, they have kind of some grips here, their feet. Butterflies don't have a tongue to taste, but they do have their feet that help them taste. So when they're flying around from flower to flower, they'll land right on it and they'll say, mm, this tastes good. I'm going to enjoy sucking the nectar out of this flower. Or, ooh, this does not taste good. I'm gonna go fly somewhere else to find my favorite food. Remember the butterfly's favorite food? The painted lady butterfly's favorite food is the thistle. Let me label the word legs. Draw a line right here and we'll write L -e 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 G -g legs. Thank you for helping me. Right at the top of his thorax, we're going to find the butterfly's head. And on his head, he has his eyes. Now a butterfly doesn't see things the way we see them, 
but their eyes do help them distinguish between light and dark, and that helps them know where to fly. So let's label the word I, E, Y, E. And we'll label his head. You're right, that starts with H. H E A D. Are you ready for my favorite part of the butterfly? You might think, oh, it's gonna be the butterfly's wings. And I love the butterfly's wings, but my favorite part of the butterfly that not everybody knows about is his proboscis. Look at that proboscis. Kind of looks like a cinnamon roll swirl, doesn't it? Well, what that proboscis does when he lands on a flower and his feet taste it and thinks, oh, this is delicious, he unfurls. That means to unroll his proboscis. He sticks it right down into the center of the flower and he sucks up that nectar with his proboscis like he's sucking up chocolate milk with a straw. Isn't that cool? I'm really hoping when our butterflies come out, I'll be able to show you that. Well, let's label the word proboscis. Her proboscis. Great. And you guys probably know that on the top of the butterfly's head are his antenna. The antenna actually help the butterfly to keep their balance a little bit and it helps them smell things. So their feet help them taste, their proboscis is how they eat, their antenna help them smell so they can smell their favorite flower. Let's write the word antenna. Are you ready for their wings? I'm super excited about this part too. Here we go. So the butterflies have two wings. I'm going to draw their front wing first. Let's write out the word front wing. Did you notice these lines on the butterfly's wings? Those are called its wing veins, and it also helps them with oxygen flow. We have veins in our body. If you look at your wrist, that's a e really easy place to see your veins. And you can see your blood pumping through your veins. It's really cool. Take a look at your wrist right now. So let's write wing veins. We'll point to one of them here. Wing veins. Now, let's draw the butterfly's back wing. Let's mark back wing. Okay, so there's our butterfly. You'll notice I don't have any colors on him yet. Did you know what body part gives the butterflies their color? It's actually a body part. I'm just gonna write it up here called his scales. Yeah, what other animal do you know that has scales? We have it in our classroom. 
Yeah, goldfish, any type of fish have scales. Well, a butterfly has thousands and thousands of tiny scales all over its wings. They're kind of little dusty things. That's why we don't want to touch butterflies because their scales might rub off right on our hand. But the scales are what give the butterflies their beautiful colors. The scales on a butterfly also help them absorb the heat from the sun, allowing them to regulate their body temperature. Our painted lady butterflies are probably going to have some other little circle markings on them. And those will kind of look like little white spots on the butterfly. Sometimes butterflies use these markings as a defense mechanism. Some butterflies have great big spots on their wings that look like a giant eye. So maybe if a predator comes along, the butterfly can blend in and maybe they can make themselves look like a big owl eye and then the predator will say, oh, that's too big of an animal for me. So those spots really help keep the butterfly safe. Okay, so we have our painted lady butterfly all done. It doesn't look exactly like it does in nature, but it's a pretty close scientific drawing. So let's review our body parts on a butterfly one more time. His head, his eye, antennas that help him smell, his proboscis, my favorite thing that helps him suck the nectar out of a flower like a straw. His legs with his tasting feet. His thorax, his body. His abdomen. Spiracles that help him breathe. His wing veins that are on his front wing and his back wing. I'm going to give you one more little fact before we go. Can you tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth? One way to tell is how they hold their wings. When butterflies land, they usually land with their wings straight up and down behind them. Moths flatten their wings out when they land. That's not always the case, but it's another good clue as how to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. All right, we will keep watching to see when these butterflies come out. I can't wait. See you next week, kindergarten.